Hello everyone, welcome back to another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got in the Pokemon Trainer, with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard putting in a phenomenal amount of work to claim that Elite Smash crown. Now we only have a few characters left in this Road to Elite Smash series, and we haven't finished one big series in particular, it's going to be the Legend of Zelda series. So far we've gotten in the main characters like Link, Zelda, Ganondorf, we've even gotten into Young Link. What's his name? What's his name? I got nothing out of name! Come on, baby, what's the name? But there is one character that we are missing that is part of the Legends of Zelda series. It's going to be Toon Link that we're going to be getting in today for this Road to Elite Smash as the final Legend of Zelda representative. So for our skins, I actually like this green one. There is a dark alt, but I don't pick every dark alt. Oh, 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 oh. I think this nice green complements him really well, so hopefully we get lucky. Okay, Corn as our first matchup is going to be a little bit iffy. I'm not sure if the luck is going to swing entirely our way, but let's show ahead and show Toon Link's moveset. Of course, he has the bow that most Links have. Very simple, nonetheless. But yeah, Toon Link is a little bit different compared to the other Links. Alright, so that is his nair and up tilt we missed. That's his down air. Okay, we fall a lot faster than I thought. I thought we'd be able to stall a little bit in the air and recover with his upbeat. But that's his boomerang, of course. And Toon Link also has the shield properties that uh, the other links have. But I don't think we'll be using that too much today. Trying to get them with the bow. But there we go. Nice F smash. Changed over from the older games as most of the links have a second hit. Uh, Toon Link does not. He was changed from Smash 4 and it's honestly pretty good. Has some pretty good distance for a sword. All right, and that, of course, his claw shot that we've been using. Gobbles with a pretty nice grab. All right. And there we go. Nice up. He can be used grabbed out of his shield. And nice forward air to kill Corrin. Already a, a stock ahead, but we are at 136, so let's be careful a little bit. And just try to get him. All right. All right, up here really strong, actually. All right, still, still hanging on. Oh, uh, unfortunately, we missed, so I think we're gonna die here. Yep, to the up air. Wanted to get him with a nice jump rating, get finished off of that up B. Feels really satisfying, but we could get a nice F smash there. All right, and his boomerang can be angled in different directions, and there's his down B, the bomb that we haven't used just yet. All right, no up smash, unfortunately. 129, almost get him with the forward air. But I'm going to kill you. Uh, what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> fall into the forward air. And already taking a very close game. That corn was not slouching around. And honestly, I don't think we got lucky, but we just got to watch out. Okay, this could get really ugly really fast. It's a me gunner. Oh god, alright, so let's see what the moveset is. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to hold this out. Okay, there we go, 22%. And he has a grenade launcher. That is not too good. That's gonna be a real problem for us getting back. As you can see, it's already getting a uh, tomb free. Yeah, alright. Can you do something else? Please? No! Alright, right, nice, we found our way through. Alright, thank you. Uh, that was the close one. Alright, and he has flame pillar as well, but we do need to get him with a nice jab. Alright, nice, and we get him with the forward air. That's good, well, helping out a lot, helping us cord and. I'm gonna do what's called a pro well. gamer move. Alright, yeah. alright. Nice, the bomb actually went off. Alright, and nice damage, getting him 17, 17 with that up beat. Alright, I think if we, if we just pick a nice space to avoid those grenades, not a good one. I think we'll get Mike die here. Yeah, unfortunate. Not really too much you can do. Alright, I don't know why you're teabagging. I've already figured you out. You're not gonna win this one. So, and you're pretty predictable. Alright, nice back air. I haven't used that too much, but you can do stuff with, like, rising back air. Alright, oh, and that's gonna be a regrab. Let's charge that down. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? There we 
go. Already getting a nice kill. Making him regret that teabag from earlier. And yeah, he's just keep trying to do flame pillar stuff. Flame pillar. I, I don't I don't I don't get it. I'm not even there. <laughs> Why are you trying to do that? Right, let's go for a nice back throw. Let's see if we can get him with the uppy. Ah, well, you know, it didn't hit all the way. Alright, at least he's not gonna teabag this time. So let's see if we can finish him off here. Alright, no up smash. Alright, nice back here. And there's a forward air. Wow, the forward air is really coming in clutch here today with Toomley like, getting three separate kills off of that and being able to stop his grenade launching and another road to victory. Well, being the third iteration of Link we've had in Smash so far, I think Toon Link was actually really fun to play in this Road to Elite Smash, even just as easy as the other two, with the Bomb, Boomerang, and Bow doing some pretty nice work. I gotta say, Toon Link Forward Air came in really clutch today, got in three separate kills. I didn't expect that. I thought I was gonna be able to use Back Air a lot more. Um, Uppy did a decent job, won some more kills with that, but overall, pretty fun time nonetheless and if you ever want to play Toon Link I think Toon Link is probably the most fun out of the links to play well thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like down below and win wake that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video and until then peace out and make it a great day everyone